No, 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 no. Give me a 10, just a 10. That's all I want. Come on, what is it? It's like a two. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the vlog today. We are back out with fishing with Becca. Do me a huge favor, go check out her channel. Drop a subscription. We're out at some big fish ponds today, y'all. We're gonna try and find some on beds because we found them for the first time ever in the last episode. And I'm pretty curious to see if this water temp has risen enough for them to come up shallow and be hanging out pre-spawn style and for us to toss a little Texas rig on in there. Speaking of, today's video is sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle. Thank you so much for that, you guys. Everything we're throwing today, you guys can grab at Carl's Bait and Tackle from the rods, the line, the baits, uh, hooks, etc. So go ahead and check them out. Link in the description if you'd want to save some money on your tackle. Otherwise, we're just going to go ahead and have a great day pond hopping in Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex while she is down south from Rhode Island. Let's go ahead and grab some rods, rig up, and get started, man. Literally, barely get my GoPro on. Josh already says he's got a bite on the wacky rig so far. <laughs> that is, uh, that's promising. Sometimes at these places, they'll literally just be like on the wall. Like their bed is like below your feet. First few casts, I'm kind of swimming the crack and crawl, you guys. These water temps are warm. I think the fish are on the move, but I wanted this T-Rig because I assume we might also see some on beds. That almost looks like it's been delicately crafted by a bass right there. Looking for those bright spots in the grass and see if they fanned anything out. Just kind of trying to walk this quickly and see if we find any fish, because if not, there's some different bodies of water around here where those fish might be on beds. They just vary so much, every body of water, you know, like this thing's got some fountains, got a waterfall over there, it's got more current, it's a larger body of water, the depth changes things. I mean, one pond down the street could be low 50s, the next one might have bass on beds with water temps high 50s or above. So that looks pretty promising, but I don't see anything on it. We probably shouldn't try and walk across that, huh? Well, folks, I'm not seeing them. Back up. Back up. Back up. Just got a bite. There's a school of bass I saw over here. Sorry for not explaining anything there. I just wanted to walk over this uh, second body of water to see if I could see any fish because we haven't spotted anything at the top pond there. And literally, as soon as I come over here, I see a pack of like three decent sized ones. Here's some little tykes. I bet you like I could at least get a bass to eat though. Zero Fs given. I got a feeling other places are too fired up to spend too much time here if we're not gonna get some bites right away. Whoa. Well, Becca just got a bite as we're like, ready to go to the next pond big bus 45 minutes of walking on to spot number two that was like one two three four ponds we just kind of migrated to josh caught one waggy rigger bust dang there's a huge fish right here oh. Just had a big one. Dang, man. How crazy was that? Big one. Huge fish. I set the hook and it felt like that catfish yesterday. And it was like out here. And I had just seen one that was easily over five pounds nosed up to that like wall. I wonder if I should throw a, a moving bait or something different real fast. Hold up, hold up. This one's gonna get spooked off. You can't see him, can you? No. I saw the cat. bubble yeah, on the here, top. Here, here, here. Here you go. There was like a two pounder, but it wasn't locked. He left and he didn't come back. Becca, a big one. Hey, come up here, come up here. Oh, You're gonna have to cast baby. far. You're gonna have to cast far. Baby, that's a big one. Get him. F him up, watch this first try. That's a big one. Like glasses or not, you can see, homie. Hold, hold oh, the phone. Oh. That thing's like, I mean. That's like a three and a half. It's gotta be a three and a half or four. Dude, oh if, my God, ah, you is see it, her? is it, where? Is this another fish? Yeah. Holy! Let's see where she knows is up to. Okay, she's right there. She's not gonna like it where that rock is. Yeah, she. Oh, oh she chased the. But she's pissed. Oh, this she's is good. Pissed. This is gonna be a tough one. Also, she probably is aware of us. Like we're a little close. There might be another one over here. It's just like some sort of contest. <sighs> no, we're with the Guggen Squad. We're here to clear the ponds. Yeah, y'all have a uh, big bass problem. There's an infestation of largemouth uh, uh, fish. Josh in a rainbow shirt. Like, <laughs> they'll never see us coming. Or. Wait, I don't even know if this is gonna be open. Do you think we could guess the code? Is that a house? 
Dude, did I tell you how legit this pond looks? <laughs> Why am I throwing this Shad spinnerbait? Dude, that's legitimately all their backyard right there. That's so sick. The far left, like just this whole... I know there's fish in here because there's a couple logged catches. All right, y'all, we're at a pond I have never fished before with houses at a price point I have never seen before on the channel practically. I opted, since the clarity is good here, to uh, tie on the saucy swimmer with the underspin. And I just really hope to get a catch at this beautiful, beautiful scenic pond right here. Something just hit the surface right there. Oh, Becca, Becca, bring this fish home. Oh my, first fish out of here, so solid. Look at that chunk. Wow, oh wow. Ooh. Good one, wow. I have retied so many times trying to figure out what these bass want. I think I'm gonna go with something on the bottom now. Cannot seem to pinpoint these things. Thrown on the headhunter. I don't normally throw this smaller size, but we're gonna give it a whirl. How depressing can an awesome pond be? All I want's a nine. No, 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 no. Give me a 10, just a 10. That's all I want. Come on. <laughs> What is it? It's like a two! <laughs> it's like two! Am I rolling? I'm rolling! <laughs> yes! On the initial drop! Oh! First landed fish of the day! God! I'm really not even excited. <laughs> I've spent all day missing so many fish, I have zero confidence at this place. Yeah, at this point. Yeah, at this point I have no confidence. God! Okay, crack and crawl. Woo! Let's get them. Find the grass, find the bass, Becca. Okay, absolutely epic. Thank you, bud. Go. Becca, good one. Good one. There we go. T-Rig, you want one? Yeah. I got the same stuff. Oh. There we go, y'all. Second fish, Texas rig. Heck yes. Oh, doing the dance for us. This is June bug. It's like the green and purple. All right, y'all. Carl's bait and tackle. They got muscle rods. They got the line, the Guggen Squad line. They have woo flipping weights. They've got the Guggen Squad hammer hooks, and they also have the crack and crawl. And I believe this color is called June bug. It's kind of like a purple. Wendy. It's kind of like a purple with a green flake or speckle, and then kind of like a green on the top there. So just a nice little flash on the belly. Bring them fishies in. I've, I've got two, so we're tied. Becca's got to catch up. <laughs> you literally have fished for like 15 minutes today and caught two fish. I fished for like five hours and caught two fish. <laughs> Time to rock and roll. Weekend GTFO. My reel don't work anymore. <laughs> uh, we got four. We got four, four bass. Nothing crazy. Like no, like this. They're all right. Yeah, they're okay. Yeah. They're all right. <laughs> Have a going, man. See ya. You guys will catch them throwing back in the water? Yeah, yeah we're just making videos. Sometimes y'all catch them, y'all eat them? Different species. Usually not bass, but like uh, crappie. Crappie. Okay. crappie will eat. Okay. Uh huh. Have a good one. Uh, earlier. Look, yeah. because she asked me, she was like, hey, did they come to the gate? Like, <laughs> me being who I am, they jumped it. She was like, oh, that's a really high gate to jump. <laughs> I figured we'd be out of here in 10 minutes. <laughs> and look, honestly, when, when she went back, when she was like, she called me back home. Yeah. I said, okay, five, 10 minutes, the cops gonna come over here. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I know well, cops, I was like, shot. Okay, cool. Hey. That's the nicest lady I've never met, but. Exactly. Yeah, apparently you gotta have a code just to get out of the place too, so we're screwed. Do you know the code over here? I was about to say. So, did he just tell us that the code is or did he not? I know, he's like, if I knew it, I'd tell you. <laughs> and I said, no. Is it like star pound? <laughs> They're gonna dust our for fingerprints? Like, nah, man, they jumped the fence. <laughs> Damn, that's a high fence. Damn, that's a high fence. Yeah. 
<laughs> she must have been like on our side anyways. Like maybe they really didn't jump the fence. And that'll do it for today's episode. Ladies and gents, I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to check out Fishing with Becca's channel. She is gonna be right down there at the top of the description along with her Instagram account. P.S. We just had an Instagram giveaway go live today. About $500 in product from Bubba Blade. I'm talking about a brand new, actually it's not even launched yet, electric fillet knife. The thing's brushless as well as some of their shears and some pliers that have like a holster for, the, I mean, they're legit a mitt and a fishing net. So go ahead and hop over on Instagram. We're also closing in on 100,000 followers. This giveaway might help us get there, but we could use y'all's support from the channel. So head on over, drop a follow, and we'll catch you guys on the next episode. We had a ton of fun in this one, and I've got a lot more footage from when Becca and Todd were in town. There's more coming at you soon, and it gets pretty crazy. I just have had a lack of time to edit. And thank you so much to Carl's Bait and Tackle for sponsoring today's episode. We couldn't do some of the amazing things we tried to create content around for you guys without their support. Like a three-day Austin trip we just took down south in Texas. We fished multiple lakes. We hit a lot of ponds. We had fun with Jay Gone Fishing and Jared Swagford. You guys do not want to miss that. It's coming up very soon. So hit notifications if you're already subscribed. You got to turn that sucker to all if you want the alerts when a new video drops. See you all in the next one. Peace. <gasps>